Five and seven here in the clear. Fifty-seven. I believe her name is Shin. Yeah, I can ask that next to Uniform Sugar. We're 40 miles west from Belfast City. Okay, sir? Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a brief look at the Zygu 6100 HF and 6 meter SDR transceiver. Now what's attractive about this radio is that it contains a large capacity lithium battery pack and it also has an inbuilt tuner. What's also nice is that it has a very clear and easy to view 4 inch high resolution color screen. Now when using the internal battery pack, the radio's output power will be around 5 watts, but when using with an external power supply, the power jumps up to a maximum of 10 watts. On one end of the radio, we will find the mic socket, extension speaker socket, USB ports, and a slot for an SD card. Also on this end, we will find an accessory port for controlling an external power amplifier, and a key socket for connecting your Morse key if you like to use CW. On the other end of the radio, we have the BNC antenna connection, an IQ output for connecting to a computer running SDR software, and we find a DC in socket, which can take from nine to 15 volts DC. Either end of the radio also includes these retractable legs, which means when placed on a desk, you can operate and see the 6100 more easy. As well as the front facing control buttons, you'll find a top section of buttons which lets you change band, change modulation, activate the inbuilt tuner, swap between VFO and memory mode, and you also find a PTT button. The Zygu 6100 also has an inbuilt microphone which is located to the left of the main VFO knob. Using the PTT button on top, you can talk through this radio without any external microphone. However, I didn't test this and I can't really comment on the quality of the audio. What I can comment on though is the quality of the audio coming from the internal speaker and in my opinion it sounds very good which you'll see later on in the video. Obviously I'll be using my camera to record the audio so it's not going to be a 100% representation of the audio quality but you'll get the idea. Mexico Zero Delta Queen Whiskey. I've got Mexico Zero Delta ending with whiskey. Uh, you're not too strong. Uh, please try again. Yes, yeah, sorry. The call sign is Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, got it that time. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Golf four Victor Sierra Juliet. Good. Uh, good afternoon. Thanks for calling. Uh, my name is Ken Kilo. November 10th, and uh, I'm 10 miles south of Leicester, M0DQQW, G4VXJ. G4VXJ, M0DQW, very, very good afternoon to you. Uh, my name is Matt, Mexico Alpha Tango, and uh, just trying out a uh, new radio this afternoon. Uh, it's a portable uh, radio, and uh, just, uh, just trying it out. To, uh, to see how well it's working, but uh, it's nice to uh, nice to work you for the first time, I believe. Uh, from Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. By the way, sorry, the location is uh, near Woburn Sands, QSL. Your location near Woburn Sands. Had, uh, uh, some QRM when you gave your name over. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I was just uh, just trying to find the power setting on the radio. Um, yes, my name is Matt, Mexico Alpha Tango, Mexico Alpha Tango, QSL. Okay, Matt, well, you're, you're about 5657. It's varying a little bit. It's a bit of QSB, but uh, yeah, your radio sounds good. Uh, just uh, a little bit light on the uh, signal. But, uh, so you're down uh, Buckinghamshire way then, uh, Matt, over. Unfortunately, my time with the 6100 was quite limited. But after looking through the menus, I easily found where to adjust things like mic gain or power. Incidentally, when running on internal battery, the radio doesn't let you adjust the power level above 5 watts. But when running from an external supply, you can set this to 10, as you'll see shortly. The cover screen is not touchscreen, so making any adjustments to the menus or radio settings must be done using the push buttons and the rotary controls. However, 
Not having a touchscreen is not really a big issue for me and I managed to work out how to change the settings without even looking at the manual. Do ham operators actually read manuals anyway? As mentioned earlier, the 6100 has an inbuilt tuner. The antenna that I was using for this test was actually an NFID halfway for 40 meters, so it is probably quite well tuned anyhow. But activating the internal ATU is quite easy, just by holding in the ATU button on the top panel. The accessories that come with the 6100 include the backlit microphone, which looks very similar to Icon mics, a coiled mic cable with RJ45 connectors at either end, the USB cable, which I believe can be used to charge the internal battery and also perform cat control features, a DC power lead to connect to an external power supply or battery, and finally a 12 volt, one amp wall type power supply. The front facing panel has an array of push buttons down the left side, along with a multi-function rotary control at the top, which can control speaker volume, squelch or RF gain. The lower left rotary control can be used for changing menu items when in the radio's configuration menus. Along the bottom of the screen, you'll also find four push buttons, which can change function depending on what mode the radio is in. On the right side, we see the front facing speaker, a lock button, the main large VFO knob, and to the bottom of that VFO knob, we can see a tiny hole for the inbuilt microphone. Yeah, QSL Shaman, thank you very much for uh, coming back to my call. Uh, you're a five and eight, five and nine here into Bedfordshire, into uh, into the UK. The operating name here is Matt, Mexico Alpha Tango. And uh, nice to uh, work you for the first time. Microphone back to you from Mike Zero, Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yep, 73. Take care. Bye bye. Bravo, United. Okay, on a phone call here, guys. Uh, QRX, just uh, one minute. QRX. Well, there we go, guys. A brief overview of the Zygu 6100 HF SDR transceiver. Now, I know that there is so much more to show on this radio, but unfortunately, I did run out of time. And hopefully in the near future, and if you guys would like to see more on this radio, I can create some more in-depth videos. I'd also like to thank Chris at Moonmaker for allowing me to check out this cool radio. And if you're looking for one and you're in the UK, then check out their website, www.moonmakeronline.com. Until the next video, guys, stay safe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.